In this video, we'll take a nostalgic look back at New Zealand music in the 1980s. There were many great Kiwi musicians throughout the 80s, and unfortunately I can't cover them all in this one video, so I've decided to go with the top singles and albums for each year, based on the New Zealand Music Awards. As always, please like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. 1980. John Stevens, Montego Bay. From Upper Hutt, John Stevens had two number one hits in 1980, the first being Jezebel, before Montego Bay took over. The song is a cover version, originally written by US artist Bobby Bloom in 1970. Stevens went on to front the well-known Australian band Noiseworks, as well as In Excess for four years in the early 2000s. Sharon O'Neill Sharon O'Neill is the self-titled sophomore album by the artist of the same name. Born in Nelson, O'Neill is a self-taught musician, and this album had such hits as Words and Asian Paradise. She also has a duet with John Stevens. O'Neill also won Best Female Vocalist for the same year, and in 1983 won Best Film Soundtrack for her work on the New Zealand movie Smash Palace. 1981. Coup d'etat. Doctor, I like your medicine. Whilst taking a break from popular New Zealand band Hello Sailor, singer and guitarist Harry Lyon joined Coup d'etat and this was their second single, An Ode to Partying Hard, which had in fact scuppered Hello Sailor's previous attempt to crack the US market. The single stayed in the New Zealand charts for four months, and the video clip was filmed predominantly outside the Civic Picture Theatre in Auckland. The band disbanded after only one album, with Lion returning to Hello Sailor via the Legionnaires. Dave McCartney and the Pink Flamingos Another alumni from the recently disbanded Hello Sailor, Dave McCartney formed the Pink Flamingos with Dragon keyboard player and songwriter Paul Hewson. Their self-titled album led to five New Zealand Music Awards in 1981, including Group of the Year as well as Album of the Year. A disappointing second album, along with a failed crack at the Australian market, led the band to dissolve in 1982, although there was a minor comeback in 1984. 1982. Prince Tuiteka, Apo. A love song to his wife Missy, Prince Tui Teka took the melody from a popular Indonesian song and made it his own, with great success. The song stayed at the New Zealand number one spot for two weeks, helping to cement his name into New Zealand culture. In 1985, whilst touring New Zealand with the Prince Tui Teka show, Teka failed to reappear after a break between songs, and was found dead from a heart attack in his dressing room, aged 47. DD Smash, Cool Bananas DD Smash have the honour of being the first New Zealand band to have this, their debut album, enter at the number one spot on the New Zealand album chart, purely by touring only. Lead singer Dave Dobbin formed DD Smash after leaving the Dudes in 1980. In 1984, he gained notoriety after a power cut during a gig they were performing at Aotea Square caused them to speak ill of the police after they arrested some of the crowd. This in part helped kick off the now infamous Queen Street Riot, although Dobbin was later acquitted of inciting a riot. 1983. DD Smash, Outlook for Thursday. DD Smash again, and this time it's Outlook for Thursday, a classic Kiwi tune that wasn't actually released on any album, although a version does appear on a live album, which we'll talk about soon. The video for the song won Best Music Video at the 1983 New Zealand Music Awards. DD Smash, live, deep in the heart of taxes. Dave Dobbin and his band were ruling the New Zealand airwaves through 1982 and 1983, and they again won Best Album with Live, Deep in the Heart of Taxes. As the name implies, this album was recorded live at the Main Street Cabaret, located at 506 Queen Street. Part of the appeal of this record had to undoubtedly be the single Outlook for Thursday, which was not released on any other studio recorded album. 1984. The Narcs, You Took Me Heart and Soul. Emerging from the Christchurch pub scene in the early 80s, the Narcs had their biggest hit with Heart and Soul, coming off the debut album Great Divide. They took their name from the police, who they had covered many times before. After hearing a friend say, someone's called their band The Police, next thing there'll be a band called The Narcs. The Narcs quietly disbanded towards the end of the 80s, but as of 2016, have since reformed and performed around New Zealand. Dance Exponents, Prayers Be Answered. Containing one of my favourite dance exponent songs, Victoria, Prayers Be Answered is the second album by Jordan Luck and the band. Originally from Timaru, the dance exponents, known simply as the exponents by the early 90s, hit the ground running with this album, which stayed in the New Zealand charts for a staggering 45 weeks. I'll Say Goodbye, Even Though I'm Blue, was another popular single from Prayers Be Answered, and the exponents would go on to dominate New Zealand airwaves throughout much of the 80s and 90s. 1985. Netherworld Dancing Toys, for today. 
apparently written by singer Nick Sampson whilst working out a Taranaki freezing works, for today, by Dunedin band Netherworld Dancing Toys, hit number one in 1985, in part to the soaring vocals of Annie Crummer, as well as a catchy brass section. For Today also won Best Song at the 1985 New Zealand Music Awards. This song has been heard in many different adverts and movies over the years, perhaps most notably for a pack and save advertising campaign in 2015, celebrating 30 years in the business, as this song was released the same year the pack and save brand was founded. Netherworld Dancing Toys, Painted Years Netherworld Dancing Toys picked up both Best Album for Painted Years as well as Best Group at the 1985 New Zealand Music Awards. In 2018, the band reformed one last time to perform their hit For Today at the 2018 Silver Scroll Awards, after lead singer Malcolm Black was told he only had months to live. He died on May 10, 2019. 1986. Peking Man, Room That Echoes. Staying in the New Zealand charts at number one for two weeks in 1986, and in the charts for 11 weeks overall, Room That Echoes by Peking Man is often remembered for its high concept video, for the time, with singer Margaret Ehrlich silhouette dancing on a computer generated stage. This would be the band's only major single, with Margaret leaving to join When The Cat's Away at the end of 1986, as well as going on to have a successful solo career. Peking Man Peking Man won eight awards at the 1986 New Zealand Music Awards, including Single of the Year for Room That Echoes, Top Group, Best Female Vocalist, Best Male Vocalist and Best Album Cover for this, their only album. After Margaret left the band, Peking Man continued with their original lineup, with Margaret's brother Pat Ehrlich on lead singer duties, but they didn't last much past 1987. 1987. Dave Dobbin, You Ought To Be In Love. Taken from the Foot Rot Flats movie soundtrack, You Ought To Be In Love is a song dedicated to the love Wall has for local hairdresser Cheeky Hobson. The backing vocals are performed by Ardijar, who at the time were just starting to find success after years of performing at clubs around South Auckland, such as Cleopatra's. Herbs, Sensitive to a Smile Local band Herbs released Sensitive to a Smile in 1987, with the album staying in the New Zealand charts for 30 weeks. It was also awarded Album of the Year at the 1987 New Zealand Music Awards. A documentary of the album released, filmed by Lee Tamahori, who would later go on to direct Once Were Warriors, was filmed in Ruatoria, where there had been recent unrest with over 30 arson fires lit, allegedly by the local Ruatoria Rustas, who were on a quest to return local land back to the rightful Māori owners. 1988. Holiday Makers, Sweet Lovers A cover of Bill Withers' We Could Be Sweet Lovers from 1971, the Holiday Makers sat in the New Zealand charts for six weeks during 1988 with the single Sweet Lovers. Although the band won seven awards at the 1988 New Zealand Music Awards, including Best Single and Best Video, the band lasted only another year before going their separate ways. Dave Dobbin, Loyal. The album Loyal by Dave Dobbin was released in 1988 to local critical acclaim. The album won Best Album at the 1988 New Zealand Music Awards, with Dobbin also winning Best Male Vocalist for the second year in a row. The album also included the hit single Slice of Heaven from the Fit Rock Flats movie released two years earlier, which no doubt helped sales. The single Loyal would go on to become a national anthem in 2002 when Team New Zealand used it as part of their marketing campaign to successfully defend the America's Cup. 1989. Margaret Ehrlich, Escaping. After a successful run with bands Peking Man and When the Cat's Away, as well as helping out on the single Love You Like I Should for Dave Dobbin's album of the previous year, Loyal, Margaret moved to Australia in 1988 to help her singing career. Her first solo single was Escaping, and it stayed at number one in the New Zealand charts for three weeks and went triple platinum in Australia, reaching number 17 in the Australian charts later that same year. Margaret Ehrlich, Safety in Numbers. Ehrlich's album Safety in Numbers, of which the single Escaping came from, won Album of the Year and Best Cover Design at the 1989 New Zealand Music Awards. She also won Single of the Year for Escaping. Well that's it for now, I hope you enjoyed that nostalgic look at some New Zealand music throughout the 1980s. Do you think I missed anything worth mentioning? Please leave in the comments below.